actually it's all started something like 15 years ago it sounds a lot when i'm saying that but something like 15 years ago i have started a small study and the goal of the study was to prove that neurons cannot be regenerated so that's what's the goal and i got the opposite results and since then things are moving in in a completely different direction okay so what what we are doing is we are working on regenerating brain tissue and the main issue is to refer to the brain as a tissue into injury that we have in the brain just like any other injuries that we have in other parts of the body there are many common dominant pathophysiology whether you want to heal a peripheral wound that you have in the leg or whether you want to, to heal a wound that is in your brain the main difference between the wound that we have in the leg and the wound that we have in the brain is that the wound in the leg is something that you can see it's tangible you can smell it you can see it you understand what you are dealing with the brain you know it's it's high tech okay we are looking at city our mri we're speaking about the brain in a mystic fashion you know cognitive personality surprise surprise it's a tissue and that's that's what started something like 15 years ago and what we are doing is at first we are evaluating the wound in the brain just like any other peripheral wound meaning you know that wound have several degrees of injury the wound can be necrotic which is completely dead tissue and unfortunately in that tissue we cannot help but there might be an injured tissue that is not fully dead we call it metabolic dysfunction tissue in the brain we call it hibernating we call it stun brain but what does it mean it means that we have an injured tissue that it's stuck it does not heal okay and this is what we are targeting so at the beginning we started with classical cases of brain injury we started with stroke we started with traumatic brain injuries encephalitis and things like that what we have gained the knowledge that we gain from this is that if we can trigger stem cells and we can bring enough energy enough oxygen to the damaged tissue then the body can initiate the regenerative process that is doing in other parts of the body in the brain so the main issue is how do we bring the basic that is needed for the wound care so the body can do what is intended to do 